Local couple has quite a story to share, especially when it comes to cancer recovery. If not for a ski trip to Colorado, they might not be here to share it. And medical reporter Liz Bonus joins us now to pick up the story from there. Liz. Hey guys, good afternoon. This wonderful husband and wife got hooked up with the team at the UC Cancer Institute after that trip. And they share this story today to help promote a free cancer symposium this weekend for patients and caregivers. It is on pancreatic cancer. But their story isn't just about a breakthrough cancer trial. It is about those days where you get up and you feel everywhere you turn, there is a mountain to climb. He thought he just had altitude sickness on a family ski trip in the Colorado mountains. But by the time Doug Lang got an imaging test for what he thought was just a precaution. The radiologist and the emergency room doctor said, you have altitude sickness, but you do have a tumor on your pancreas. Before Doug and his wife Sandy could even recover. We were so shocked when we were told that and when we were in the mountains. They got a second blow. It came from an imaging test reviewed by Dr. Jordan Carafa, a radiation oncologist who specializes in tumors of the pancreas. If you look carefully, there's one blood vessel here and there's another blood vessel that's very much involved with the tumor. It turned out Doug's tumor was so close to a main blood vessel, it wasn't considered medically safe for Carafa's team to remove it. It's well known that if a patient with pancreas cancer who has tumor that's next to the blood vessel has surgery and part of that tumor is left behind, uh, it's, it's not beneficial, almost as if they didn't have the surgery. So the medical team here enrolled him in a clinical trial showing major progress against this disease. It sort of shocks the system prior to other treatment. And so far, at least for him, he's made remarkable success. And part of this trial condenses a five and a half week course of radiation with weekly chemotherapy to five treatments total. Sure enough, this two week therapy that normally takes a year got Doug's tumor far enough away from the vessel so he could have surgery and treatment needed for it to go away. A few months later, so Doug and Sandy got the good news. My tumors are gone. Um, you know, they're going to put me in a uh, follow-up uh, regimentation every three months for five years, uh, but right now everything looks great. Doug did have a few appearance changes. I lost 105 pounds, 12 inches in my waist, and 3 inches in my collar. The trial now holds major promise for others with this disease. Uh, we're three-quarters away through this trial, and so far it seems to be as effective and, and actually maybe even less toxic than our traditional approach. As for the lesson in this for all of us, Sometimes it's a gift just to have the day you feel like everywhere you look, you have to climb a mountain. Absolutely. I mean, you enjoy every day you wake up. Hmm. Lesson for all of us, huh? This cancer symposium is Saturday afternoon, February the 18th. It's at the Cooper Creek Event Center, which is in Blue Ash. We have a link to all the details at local12.com. It is free. It's a great place to learn more about that clinical trial and others. And uh, this one's still enrolling patients, so really? we will continue to share yeah, results. Yeah, them. they're going to remarkable. They're going to get a lot of people that are wanting to do that. that that's huge. For it is a person. huge deal. And what's encouraging is this was a cancer for a long time, where almost the death rate and the diagnosis rate right. were parallel. Well, we're not seeing that now. We're seeing a gap, mm -hmm. and it's important to share that so we know we're making progress. And those research dollars that people fight and walk yeah, for make absolutely. a difference. So this Saturday, we have a link at local12.com. Back at 6 to talk to you about no more body shaming. All right. All right. All right. Thanks, guys.